Hi, I'm Jacob Soberoff. Welcome to our series, Investigate Fortitude, where we dive deeper into the science behind the show, Fortitude, on Pivot. I'm joined by disease ecologist and president of EcoHealth Alliance, Dr. Peter Daszak. And tonight, we're going to be discussing disease and its effect on the mental state. Dr. Daszak, thank you so much for joining me again. I want to watch this clip of Liam leaving his room in a pretty much a delirious state out into the Arctic night. Take a look at this. So if I'm out in the snow for, for 10 seconds, I'm back in the house. I'm, I'm you know, a bit of a wimp. But is it, is it possible truly for something to affect you where you don't actually feel the pain? Is it possible to walk in the snow and not feel the cold? Yeah, I mean, look at sleepwalking. I mean, that's pretty common. Um, people who sleepwalk don't really know what they've done. They can sleep drive. They can sleep eat. They can sleep run. And these things are pretty intensive behaviors, and there's no knowledge of what they've done. All right, so, I mean, obviously Liam is not with it at all at this point. He's walking barefoot in the snow. Um, people often think of mental and physical diseases as, as two totally separate things, but in your studies, are there examples of infectious diseases that can um, confuse your mental state to this degree? Oh yeah, plenty of examples. I mean, think about rabies. That's the one we, we commonly associate with people frothing at the mouth, violent, running around and attacking people, and actually, you know, there are, there are different phases. As, as rabies, the virus gets into the nervous system and starts to affect your brain, your mood changes. And you go from a despondent phase where everything's depressing through to an angry and violent phase. And quite often, these are ways that the virus uses or the pathogen uses to make itself able to transmit to another species or another person. So the virus literally is making you crazy in order to spread elsewhere. Yeah, often that's the case. Diseases affect us, we have a, a response to them to try and get rid of them. We cough, we have diarrhea. But actually, over millions of years of evolution, diseases use that pathway to spread better. So in, in a lot of cases, our immune response to a pathogen is what either kills us or what allows it to spread. And that's where, obviously, modern medicine comes in. Oh, yeah, we've got to try and get around that evolutionary advantage. We're advancing science every day here at Investigating Fortitude. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cheers. You could join the conversation on Twitter about tonight's episode using hashtag Fortitude. And to learn more and to take part in the solutions around these issues, go to investigatefortitude.com. We are posting actions, more videos, and articles about these topics. Big, big thank you to Dr. Daszak, along with everybody at EcoHealth Alliance. Be sure to watch Fortitude on Pivot with new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m.